restocking a bit early on the Ride NYC website just in case. I feel like a lot of people, and even myself last year, would restock right before Christmas. And it's not the most helpful because most people want to order something so that by the time it gets to them, they can use it for or give it to somebody for the holidays. New scooter masks, plenty of stuff on the website. New hoodies coming, new shirts. I'm not even gonna hesitate by making a promo or anything like that. You guys follow the Ride NYC Instagram. These things, super slick. Restocks these and the original mask, plenty of stuff on there. Go scoop some, link in the description. Now I'm prepping myself for the next spot in this video, which is a very chunky old ledge that has been around since I was born. But the ledge is really fun. I actually used to be very scared of it. So we're riding this spot that I haven't been to in a long time as well. A little choppy, a little strange, but very fun to tinker. I hate that word. John Hill uses that word all the time. If he heard me say that word, he would be so hyped. But that is the perfect word for this area because you can't really do anything crazy. Everything here is very small and tight and chunky. So you have to play. You can't really do anything serious. So there is this one bench that's over there. You can grind across and it goes over that gap. That's cool to do something a little bit more constructive and serious. This is a local spot. Nothing amazing, but very fun. So we're gonna continue to do some more stuff here. Like I said, we're warming up for this other spot that we're gonna to try to hit before the sun goes down next. And that ledge is super chunky, but there's only one ledge there. A lot more here, which means a lot more tricks first. Sometimes I find myself having more fun at places that have less or that are harder to ride. It's more challenging. A lot of times you go to a generic spot, like a ledge or a good quarter pipe or a good rail. You want to try like the hardest possible thing ever. But then when you go to a sketchy spot, you know that those hard tricks on your trick list aren't going to happen. So you appreciate the smaller ones and the weird ones that you haven't done in a long time in order to get through the spot. And those sometimes end up being more fun than the really hard, brand new, radical maneuvers. So, spot's good. I don't know why I don't come here often. So you click the video and you can see the hoodie that I'm wearing. You guys know Envy just dropped a whole new line of apparel along with some gear, hats, bags, shoulder bags, and this, this fanny pack or waist bag, whatever you want to call it. This thing is awesome. To me, it's the best scooter bag. Now, you guys know I use low pro bags for all my big camera gear, but most of the time when you're scootering or you're commuting or you're going somewhere, where you don't want to carry a lot and you want to carry just your essentials. Having a bag like this is super helpful. You can carry your mobile tripod, your AirPods, your wax, your Allen keys, your cell phone. It's just big enough and Envy just released this. I'm so used to carrying either a fanny pack or a book bag. Depends on what I'm doing. If I'm driving my car or going to spots, then obviously I'm gonna have my big book bag to have all my gear, like everything I need. But if I'm in the city or I'm commuting or I'm pushing somewhere, I don't like carrying that big book bag because most of the time when you're commuting to a new spot or commuting to the skate park, there might be some spots or curves you gotta jump up and down and explore anyway. And to have a big book bag, you can't do it. Like you can, but it's, it's not comfortable. Having a fanny pack, and I wear it a different way than everybody else because a lot of people wear it across the shoulder and thing. I wear it like this. I go like that, that way it's, I look like a freaking dad or something, but this is like the best way. You jump, you know, you don't feel anything. That it goes with you when it's on your core. So putting your cell phone, wax, Allen keys, AirPods, portable charger, mobile tripod, spare GoPro batteries. I put my Tiger Bomb in here. Super easy, super useful, and it's made by Envy, which is really cool. Now, I want to go to this other spot and bring you guys along. So it's called Jewish Ledge, and it's right in front of a Jewish synagogue or a temple i forget what the facility is but it's right in front of it and it's almost i never see it open i've been going there for years well i haven't been in a while but i used to go there all the time i used to be so scared to feeble it i remember i was like no i can't feeble it we're gonna go there now and see how it is the last time i was there it was really chunky so if it's even chunkier it might be hard to ride we at least gotta check it out and i know there's a couple little things around there to tinker that damn word so we'll try to explore, use the GoPro, and finish it up before the sun goes down because we only got like 30 minutes. Now this ledge is super chunky, and I remember being super chunky back in the day, and it is still the same, which is not bad. Oh, thank you. <laughs> so this is the Jewish ledge, and from what I remember, this 
building was like a it doesn't even look like a temple or anything but i think the temple's down there so this was something that was so scared back in the day but it was waxed like now oh it's still pretty good no not really <laughs> really chunky so it's gonna be tough to ride especially because it's getting dark and this thing needs to be grinded more but check this out imagine if this had angle iron on it i've always wished that this is such a perfect ledge for tricks if it was smooth but i don't know if it's gonna feeble because i feel like when you feeble it's so thin that it'll come off you know so like it goes for a feeble obviously but let's see let's see if i can at least go down it if not we can tire a ride down it for sure because it's definitely wide enough for that I was trying to fall. I didn't know where to go. I don't want to get stuck on my scooter. <laughs> oh, I'm going to give it two more tries on board slide. And if that doesn't work, because it looks like I got to really push through. And I don't want to go full speed because you can't really, like you don't know. Look at this fat chunk, right? Like you don't know if that's going to catch you or not. Try two more board slides and then we'll try feeble. All fails, then we will precision down this for sure. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Check out. <laughs> I bet if we grinded this thing a lot and came here more often and then with a lot of wax, you could actually push through this and smooth it out because it's not too bad, right? But it's not perfect at the same time. Whoa. Oh my god. <laughs> oh. You know what's funny though? I remember back in the day I used to be so scared just to anything down it, like even just to ride down it. Yeah, it's really low. It's such a cool spot. You definitely gotta come here and put in some work. And the best thing to do for a ledge, if you ever have like a really chunky ledge, is grab a skateboard because for some reason the trucks like really smooth it out. And just put wax and then grind it with the skateboard like use your hands and just go back and forth and then put more wax and then grind it just do that back and forth like do a lot of reps and turn the ledge black and it'll actually grind way smoother like we've done that to bricks and it worked so with this it definitely could work i just need a skateboard so i have to borrow john one day he's like hey can i borrow your board so i can destroy it that's easy I'm glad this spot is still here because I, I'm going to come back and thank you again. I'm going to come back and really work this ledge up. Like I said, angle iron. Imagine like a coping ledge on this would be so freaking good. Cool. And it has lights. So you want to film at night. Really good. And just like that, it's dark. It's dark so early now, like four o'clock. Super productive day. Really had fun at that first spot. Glad to see Jewish Ledge is still in one piece, barely. New masks are listed on the Ride NYC website and the new NV apparel line with the shoulder straps, the fanny pack, and some hats and plenty of gear is up on the NV website as well. You guys can check out that link in the description. You got a lot of homework to do. Go to the description, check it all, but you need to see all the new stuff because if you don't want it, you're gonna need it. Appreciate you guys coming along for the session once again, and I'll see you guys in the next one.